Mm. All right, hello folks, and today we're going to talk about the cortex and what goes in all of these spots. So as you look on this cortex, we see different designations for certain components. We have digital spot, an analog spot, and we have a motor spot. Now you need to put certain things in certain places. Obviously, we're going to put a motor into the motor spots. The motors have a two-pronged cord. They go in spots one and 10. They just plug right in there, one and 10. The black wire always goes to the outside of the cortex, whether we're talking about the motors, the digital sensors, or the analog sensors. The black always goes to the outside. Now what happens if I want more than one motor? And I have to have a two-pronged spot. Two-pronged spots are only one and 10. Well, in that case, we get this thing. This is a motor controller. So what we do is line up our colors. So that red goes into red and black goes into black. And now we have a three prong wire. And same thing, we can go through two through nine, but we have to make sure that we are putting the black wire on the outside and we have to put it in there straight. That works better. So it doesn't matter which port you put it in, two through nine takes a three prong thing, a three pronged wire into that spot. So those are your motors and your um, servo, or your, not your servo, those are your motors and your motor controller. Now, if we talk about a servo, and we'll talk about that on a different video, what a servo is, but a servo, you can see, is different size than a motor. It's smaller. It also has a three prong wire already. So you can plug that in one of those spots. Two through nine, one of those spots. Now on our cortex, we also have sensor spots. So we have a limit switch. The limit switch goes in the digital spots. So it doesn't matter which one's here, one through 12 goes in a digital spot with the black wire on the outside of the cortex. We can also have a bump switch, and I like to use these a lot just to start things. It's just a single bump switch. You'll plug it in the digital spots with the black wire on the outside. Now be careful folks, when you try to put something in slot number one, make sure you're not putting it in slot number eight for the analog. Just be careful to make sure you know where you're going. One more thing about the Cortex, you will need a battery, and the battery goes right here. This is your battery. The way it plugs in is with this little notch, that little, part that sticks up there, it goes up, plug it in, and you'll need to turn on your Cortex. And now you can see it's trying to figure things out, but we don't have any program in here yet, so it's saying, hey, I don't know what's going on. So that's where your orange USB cord will hook in to and then you hook the other side into your computer and you can download your program to the Cortex. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for your attention. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And also remember, work hard. Hard work is its own reward.